Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 30th of 2019. Well, it is titled M42 inside the Orion Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the best known star forming regions and one of the most photographed areas of the sky. And nebulae like the Orion Nebula here are always make very beautiful pictures because of the shapes that they make. So instead of photographing a star, which just looks like a point of light, even through the largest telescopes, we get to see a lot of detail here. And you can see the structures within the nebula in great detail. You can see the filaments of gases that are being illuminated by the hot stars that have formed within Orion. And in this case, this is a image that shows emission of two elements and that is oxygen and hydrogen. So it is a narrow band image in that we take Im can take images uh, highlighting specifically those two uh, colors that are emitted by those specific elements. So each element has its own pattern of colors that it emits. And sometimes we observe with just those specific just those specific colors to really see far more detail within the image. And we can see that here all of those structures we can also see a lot of the dark dustier structures which are regions of continuing star formation so when stars begin to form the process does not happen all at once and all of the stars form immediately but in fact within a giant molecular cloud as in is in the orion region the material will start to compact on one side and whatever causes that compaction maybe a nearby supernova that had gone off that compresses that material and then it will move through the molecular cloud so as each region begins to form you will start to form stars there and then those will continue the shock wave through there and new stars will begin to form. So we can see all stages of star formation within the Orion region, including some of the dark dusty areas, uh, dark nebulae where stars are just beginning to form. We can see uh, young stars in the process of formation. We call those proto stars. They're just beginning uh, the condensation and have not be yet become a full fledged star. And we can also see the young cluster of stars, the trapezium uh, of Orion, which is a young open cluster just beginning to form and stars that have formed within the last few hundred thousand years. So while we cannot watch the entire process for any one star, we can look at all those different stages among different regions around Orion and help use that to help us put together a good understanding of how stars form within a nebula like this. Now the Orion Nebula is also visible to the naked eye. You certainly won't get this kind of view, but you can see a fuzzy patch in the constellation of Orion. If you look uh, towards Orion and find the three stars in Orion's belt and then look hanging down from those in Orion's sword, you would see uh, a fuzzier area looking kind of like a star, but a little bit fuzzier. And that would actually be the Orion Nebula. And if you could zoom in on it and take a nice image as you would see something like our image for today. So that was our picture of the day for October the 30th of 2019. It was titled M42 inside the Orion Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be ghost shocked. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.